How's it going, guys? It's the May Sandwich, and you saw the date today. Today marks five years since the release of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and it's hard to believe that the game is five years old already. Like, seriously, oh my gosh. So to start today off, I just want to talk to you. Just, you know, you saw the video. It's a tribute, kind of like how I did my other Smash series. I'm just going to talk to you about the game's history, even though you probably know, already know it. But, but I think this might be my final video on Smash Bros. Ultimate, maybe. I don't know, though, but still... I just wanted to give a big thanks to this game because this game has definitely, it's definitely one of the best games I've ever played. I love everything about it. It just got me introduced to all these gaming franchises. I mean, Smash has actually introduced me to all these gaming franchises and introduced me to some uh, others that are just similar to that. So let's talk about the trivia and a little history about Smash Bros. Ultimate, even though you probably already know it. So, as you may already knew, like, the game was first announced on the 8th of March of 2018. And they, the only thing, three things that we knew was that Inkling was going to be a character, or a new character, and Link was going to get his Breath of the Wild design, and it was again released the same year it was announced, which was 2018. And then in June, they announced that all the characters that's ever been in Smash was going to return. And I will tell you, it was actually pretty shocking that all the characters came back, and... They also introduced Echo Fighters, which Lucina being loose, like Lucina is back as Mars Echo Fighter and Dark, but returned as Pit's Echo Fighter. And they also introduced Daisy as Peach's Echo Fighter, which was pretty cool. And they also announced Ridley as a brand new character. I know I wasn't exactly happy with that at first, but I'm kind of glad now because we got more Metroid characters and more love for the franchise. And I'm just happy that the that it just gave us everything that we needed and all that stuff. And yeah. So I guess I can also mention that, and then the August Direct happened, which introduced Simon and Richter from Castlevania. Like, I never heard of Castlevania, and, like, I knew, I, I think the name sounded familiar, or at least Simon's name did anyway. Like, it sounded a little familiar to me. And Richter, I didn't even know at all. Like, Richter was Simon's Echo Fighter, and then they introduced Chrome and Dark Samus as Echo Fighters for Roy and Samus. And I remember we all thought Chrome was Ike's Echo Fighter, but I think it would have been better if he was Ike's Echo. But honestly, I love him as Roy's Echo because he's probably my favorite between him and Roy. And, and as well as Mars Lucia because they all typically say they the same moveset. And then they announced everything else that they need to know, like all the stages that were going to be coming. Like 103 stages, including like the, uh, including the new Nog City Hall stage, the new one. <laughs> And Dracula's Castle and all that, blah, blah, blah. And they also announced Carol at the end of Direct. I was not a big, I mean, yeah. Carol was pretty cool, I guess. And then in September, they announced Isabel was joining the battle. And then Ken from Street Fighter was joining as a reused Echo Fighter and Cinnabar were both announced at the last Direct before the game's launch, which was November 1st. And they introduced basically everything else in the new story mode for World of Light. And then DLC, <coughs> sorry, my throat got stuck there. DLC was announced, and Piranha Plant was actually announced as a free pre-order bonus, or like just like a free bonus that you could get for free, like I did. That video got me really popular. Actually, it was my most popular video before my YouTube short when I did a review of the McDonald's, to like the McDonald's with the Happy Meal. I said it was worth the extra four bucks, but it was not. I was lying just so I could get some free French fries. And that's basically it for that. And, and like, the everything else that I don't need to mention, then they announced, like, the day before the Game Awards, like, at the Game Awards, before they announced, or before Smash Brothers released, Joker was from Persona 5, which I never even heard of. It was that they announced Joker from Persona 5 in Smash. I never heard of him. And then Piranha Blank released in January of that, of 2019. And then... In April, they released Joker. Then E3 2019, they announced Hero from Dragon Quest and Banjo-Kazooie from Banjo-Kazooie. Like, Hero was highly requested in Japan, and Banjo-Kazooie was highly requested in the West. And Challenge Pack 4, which was announced in September, same time when Banjo released Terry Crews, or, sorry, Terry Crews, Terry Bogard, he was announced at Challenge Pack 4, and he was highly requested in Latin America. And Hero released in July, and like I mentioned... Banjo Kazooie released in September. Then, same time, Terry was announced. Terry Bogard was announced. They announced more DLC was coming, and they announced Sans as a meat costume, which was really, really hilarious. 
like seriously, like the Sans Me costume, it, the whole internet exploded. <laughs> oh man, everybody was posting about it and everything. I haven't seen Twitter though. And then, and then they released Terry in November, and then they announced Challenge Pack Five in January twenty twenty, which was Byleth from Fire Emblem Three Houses, and yeah, no one was really happy with that. But hey, we got another Challenge Pass or Challenge Fighter Pass. I kept saying challenge pass. I said, it's fighters pass, not challengers pass. I'm sorry for that. It, this is not scripted. Uh, fighters pass one included Joker, Hero, Banjo Kazooie, Terry, and Byleth, and that's basically it for that. And blah 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 blah. blah. Like there's also five stages and ninety music tracks you can get if you get the whole challenge. Yeah, the whole fighters pass. And then in March, or like after they announced Byleth, they announced Fighters Pass 2, which was six Challenger Packs. Maybe that's why I kept saying Challenger Pass, but it's Fighters Pass. So Fighters Pass Volume 2, uh, Fighters Pass 1 actually include a Rex Me costume and a Ancient Soldier gear from Breath of the Wild within Fighters Pass 2. And I got those. And another thing that was interesting was that they released... Or, or, like, they announced in March that the... March 2020 that the new... Like, the first fighter of Fighters Pass Volume 2 would be an arms fighter. And it was really revealed to be Min Min in, in June. And then on October of 2020, they announced Charge Pack 7 to be Steve from Minecraft. It was so crazy that it broke Twitter, which was the second time this happened. First time was probably when Michael Jackson died. And now, then Steve joining Smash broke Twitter again. And Steve released 12 days later. And then at the Game Awards 2020, they announced Challenge Pack 8, which was Sephiroth from Final Fantasy 7, which means more Final Fantasy content. I thought that was pretty cool. And then March of 2021, they announced Challenge Pack 9 to be Pyramithra from Zealway Chronicles 2, or Pyramithra, as I like to call them. And then they released it in March. Like, they were announced in, they were announced in February, and then they released in March. I think I said they were announced in March, but they released in March. And then on June, they announced, like June 2021 at E3, they announced Kazuya from Tekken. I had no idea who he was. Like, I honestly didn't. But I thought it was pretty cool that, that Kazuya was announced, even though, like I said, I had no idea who he was. But I did know what Tekken was. Like, I knew who, um, I knew who Heihachi was and who Jin was. But that was it. And... I should point out that with Seth Ross reveal, like, I saw a uh, video about someone doing the Apollo of One-Winged Angel from Smooth McGroove. Like, I heard that, and when I heard the theme, that's how I knew who Seth Roth was, because I only knew who he was because of the, of the theme. Like, I never played Final Fantasy VII, but I knew who he was, <laughs> just from the theme alone. Okay, back to what I was saying about all, everything else, um... They actually released a small update after Min Min release, which would announce the new small battlefield stage, which... Okay, that was kind of random, but it was so funny. But I will mention, I guess that's all I can really say about that. And and then after a few months, in in September, they announced that the Final Fighter would be really announced in October 2021. And it was announced to be Sora from Kingdom Hearts. And he was the number one highly requested fighter, so it made sense to add him. And now Sora is the last fighter, and the whole thing just ended off with Mario and Sora shaking hands. That's one of the biggest moments in gaming history. Like, it really is. And what could top Sora? Like, honestly, like, Sora released later in October 2021, and the whole thing was incredible. It really was. So Min Min, Steve, Sephiroth, Pyramithra, Kazuya, and Sora are all in Fighters Pass 2. And now there's 86 fighters in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And I'm going to do these in order, so let's see if I can do this without messing up. Mario, Donkey Kong, Link, Samus, Dark Samus, as Samus and Echo Fighter, Yoshi, Kirby, Fox, Pikachu, Luigi, Ness, Captain Falcon, Jigglypuff, Peach, Daisy as Peach's Echo Fighter, Bowser, Ice Climber, Sheik, Zelda, Dr. Mario, Pichu, Falco, Mart, Lucina as Mars Echo Fighter, Yell Lake, Gandorf, Mewtwo, Roy, Krom as Roin's Echo Fighter, Mr. Game & Watch, Meta Knight, Pit, Dark Pit as Pit's Echo Fighter, Zero Suit Samus, Wario, Snake, Ike, Pokemon Trainer with Squirtle, Ivysaur, and Charizard, Diddy Kong, Lucas, Sonic, King DDD, Olimar, Lucario, Roy. See, I messed up there. Look, where did Roy come from? I just already mentioned Roy. Lucario, Rob. Maybe that's how I messed up. 
Lucario, Rob, Tunic, Wool, Villager, Mega Man, Wee Betrainer, Rosalina and Luma, Little Mac, Greninja, Me Brawler, Me Swordfighter, Me Gunner, Politana, Pac Man, Robin, Shulk, Bowser Jr., Duck Hunt, Ryu, <laughs> I messed up there again. Ryu, Ken is Ryu's Echo Fighter, Cloud, Karin, Bayonetta, Inkling, Ridley, Simon, Richter is Simon's Echo Fighter, King K. Roll, Isabel, Incineroar, Piranha Plant, Joker, Hero, Banjo Kazooie, Terry, Byleth, Min Min, Steve, Satheroth, Ka <laughs> Satheroth, Pyramithra, Kazuya, and Sora. All 86 fighters. It's hard to believe that this game has 86 fighters. I'm pretty sure. I, I don't know if it is the most from any fighting game. I think there's a fighting game that has more than that. I know what it is, but I don't remember the name. I know there is, though, but still, I thought it was amazing that this game has. 86 fighters from 40 different franchises. It, it is 40, I have counted, if you count me as, as their own franchise. Like, where could Super Smash Brothers go now? Because Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, this is like the biggest Smash game. Like, the only thing that could beat that would be a bigger version of it. And I probably might make a video about that in the future. I'm thinking I will, but I'm not sure when I'm going to do it. So, that's all I can really mention about Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and it's hard to believe that the game is five years old already, so, that's all I can really say. Like, I'm not sure who my main is exactly. Like, I should point out that my profile of the game on my, on just on my profile on my Switch, it's 100%. I have all the DLC, everything unlocked, all the challenges beaten, everything was, was basically that. Like, I've beaten everything. Like, I got all the challenges unlocked, everything. I have all the music, all the DLC. I have everything. I have a 100% uh, save file, even with all the spears. I have all the spears. I even rematched all of them. I have nine. I have all the maximum of all the spear stuff. Everything. I have everything on my save file. That just shows how much I played the game. And I was just so happy to actually have every single thing in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate that I could get. And now that I have a 100% save file, I don't know what else I can really do with the game. Like, I'm just playing some Splatoon 3 now, and I don't play that as much because my Wi-Fi sucks. But I'm getting something to fix that, and I'm hoping it works. If not, then I don't know what I can do. And that is pretty much it for my tribute to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you, Mr. Sakurai, for giving this this amazing game like if this is this if this is the last smash game then thank you sakurai for for this for this amazing game super smash brothers ultimate it's probably probably gonna be my favorite game of all time that's all i can say so again thank you for watching until next time like until next time i will catch you later and um i guess i can mention one more thing the life flight song it matches Sora's last trailer. I just had to mention that. Okay, for real, thank you guys for watching. And until next time, I will catch you later.